All right, north of Albuquerque, the road's really dicey. News 13's David Romero continues our team coverage this morning from Santa Fe. He's giving us a little look at how it is right there. David, good morning. Well, good morning, Elizabeth. That's right. The road between here and Albuquerque is where it is dicey. As for here in Santa Fe, it couldn't be uh, any better as far as the snow goes. We have yet to see a flake within the last hour. Now, what was left on the road behind us here is pretty much just blown off of the surface. Off to the east right now, we can see the mountains of Santa Fe just a little bit. They're still. It uh, looks like they're still getting socked in pretty good up there in the higher elevations. But as for where we're at right now, off of Cerritos Road on the south side of the city, it's not that bad. The only thing we are dealing with right now are the cold temperatures. Now, the road up here was at times good and at times bad. Now, the video you should be seeing on the screen right now is an accident our crews, our crews filmed last night on the way back down to Albuquerque. It was in the southbound lanes of I-25 near Algodones, and the car rolled over. We haven't been advised yet on or if or how serious anybody may have been injured. Now at 3.15 this morning when we left Albuquerque, the west side of town was where some of the snow was starting to stick. Then in parts of the heights, there wasn't much, but when we reached Tramway, there was a complete wall of snow and the freeway was snow packed and icy. We saw a brief break in the bad conditions just north of Bernalillo. Then it was clear from Algodones to Santo Domingo. The road was then salted from La Bajada Hill all the way into Santa Fe. Now, throughout the morning, we're going to continue to remind you that it's not only snow and ice conditions you're going to have to deal with. It is the wind. Right now in Santa Fe, there is a light breeze that makes the wind chill into the single digits, just barely above zero. When you're going to be driving on the road, if there's any ice, that, the, and if the wind is stronger, it's going to make for even more hazardous conditions. Elizabeth, back to you. No doubt, David. Thank you so much. By the way, NewMexicoRoads.com. Uh, reports that the Department of Transportation crews are getting to the serious road problems first as quickly as possible. Remember to stick with KRQE News 13 all day long. Kristen will.